My key role is mainly uh, 3D rendering. So basically, my my job scope consists of lighting, shading, texturing, and in the end, uh, rendering. And then um, after that, I have to send to the compositor, and then I have to check with them um, what is needed for their, I mean, to ease up their job. So that's it. And then I have to go back and probably re rework something and supply better render passes for them. So it's easier for them to work as well. Yeah, that, that simple. But um, otherwise, otherwise, I think sometimes I also have to take care of the machines because if uh, rendering is like the last foot, the last chain for um, in 3D rendering, uh, in 3D process. So if the computer cannot render, then I'm in trouble, so I have to take care of the machine as well. So yeah, I have to take care of the render servers and stuff. Oh, I started off as a graphic designer, doing all sort of all sort of graphics work like uh, print materials, and then I slowly moved to 3D. Um, 3D. When I was fascinated by the movie industry in Hollywood, and I always wanted, uh, I mean, fascinated by their special effects and stuff, and. Um, yeah, the right time and the right chance, I met a friend and he showed me the tricks of 3D and that's where I started learning. When I came into to the industry, I was someone like with zero 3D background. Then I'm, I was quite lucky to land in um, this company and there are already a few um, very experienced 3D animators and compositors around to show me the way. I guess the most inspiring is to see how they actually work and their de determination and the time they spend on the work really inspired me to become a better uh, 3D animator or rendering artist. So far, but it's easier to talk about it recently. So there's a job in, uh, it's a job from Indonesia. So it's to create a whole jungle, trees and uh, ravines and falling rocks. So first off, we did it in one week and it was completely rejected by the client. So the client came back and asked us to do that but in a, in a, very, in a short time. So it's one month time, we had to create a whole photorealistic ravine with trees on the cliff, hanging on the cliffs and a whole mountain range at the background and yeah for for that one for that one two weeks I think most of the time we spend in the office is like more than 12 hours a day to get the realism out of the sea. In the end the, the job went well and everyone was, happy, uh, everyone was happy, the whole studio was happy and most importantly, the client was happy and they liked it. So shortly after one week, the job was on air and yeah, it was great. I think it's very simple. One get to um, work on what they like to do on a daily basis. I guess that's pretty enjoyable. And Otherwise, I think it's a challenge that um, drives me to do more every day. So I think I, I enjoy that process as well, the learning curve. Yeah, and then the rest is like um, the colleagues. Um, we basically have to work as a team, so everyone has to be friends. And yeah, we, most of the time, um, challenge each other by delivering better results for the projects. I think that uh, for school leavers to start a career in the, in the industry probably the best would be uh, to, to prepare themselves uh, in terms of mindset is more important because skill set I think is more of a software thing because if you know the concept um, of the for, for me it's a 3D, 3D industry if you know the concept of 3D animation and rendering I think pretty much every software is the same. So yeah, 
I think mindset is more important. Be more open to be more open to um, whatever that is coming to you. To me, I think one must have a right amount of determination and willing and ready to learn new skill at all time. And I think sense of responsibility is very important as well as a good team player.